It leaves you squeaky. Yeah, when you be washing, brushing yourself down, it go squeak. You, you, you can feel your skin and that mean it's clean. Oh. I was so, you don't get that squeaky sound. Mm -hmm. But with the opera, you get the squeaky sound. Oh, okay. And it feels so clean and so fresh. It's just, it's natural. Yeah. I can't go because you are doing a video. I ain't gonna hold you up. Send me that address real quick for Willie on his way to the post office with your box in a minute. Okay, I'll text it to you right now. Okay, love you. Love you more. Talk to you soon. Eden and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new now that we've had that very important message from my grandma about how ivory soap is the best soap and by the way what she is shipping me is some soap that she doesn't like that is not as good as ivory thanks grandma <laughs> Anyhow, this video is about my capsule wardrobe. It is far overdue. Um, about two years ago, I pared down my enormous wardrobe to about 50 pieces. And over the past six to eight months, it has grown again. Not is insane as it was before but definitely grown and i have noticed that decision fatigue starting to kick in the way that you start your day greatly impacts the rest of your day and if you're starting your day by fatiguing yourself by thinking about what you're gonna wear it's not a good thing and i know you guys are thinking eden no one cares we're all stuck in the house but I still think that you should be getting up and getting dressed every day. I think that's going to impact the quality of your work if you're still working from home or if you're not working but you're trying to learn a side hustle, learn something new, fill out job applications, listen to your guilty pleasure podcast that you've been saying you were going to listen to while you were still working but never found the time to do, do more at home fitness, do audio guided fitness, whatever it is. I think having a put together exterior really impacts the way that your work ethic is while you're inside. So I pared down my wardrobe. Don't worry, I didn't get rid of a bunch of stuff. I just pulled 10 items out of my wardrobe and said, this is gonna be my wardrobe while I'm here on quarantine. One, less laundry, it's 10 items. So much easier to do than a ton of laundry by pulling tons of things from my wardrobe all of the time. And it's just a nice challenge to take these 10 pieces and come up with as many outfits as you can. The reason that I came to this conclusion is I was listening to an audiobook by Anne Helen Peterson. She's a BuzzFeed writer and I really, really enjoyed that audiobook. It was an Audible original, so I actually got it for free one month and it really turned me on to her writing. So now I'm listening to an audiobook called Too Fat, Too Slutty, Too Loud. And it's very, very political. So if you're not into that, you might not like it. But I'm obsessed with it, especially with our current climate, being on quarantine right now, the decisions that we make in the future, politically wise, as people who vote are super important. So this audiobook is giving me so much more insight. And that's what I really love about Audible, the sponsor of today's video. They, of course, are the world's largest audiobook library, but it's so much more than that, especially since you're stuck in the house. It's a way to learn something new while you're doing all of those projects that you had wished you had done before, like decluttering your wardrobe or coming up with a capsule wardrobe, cleaning out your Tupperware container, organizing your pantry. You can be learning at the same time by listening to an audiobook or just being entertained by listening to an awesome podcast like the Goop podcast is on Audible. Um, my guilty pleasure, do not tell anyone. <laughs> or they have really cool audio fitness programs as well, which I love and think are the most body positive type of movement because one, you're listening to it, then you also have the liberty to pick whatever music you like and you remove the dynamic of comparing yourself or watching someone on a screen. So it's just you, your music, 
your trainer in your ear and you get to do whatever interpretation of that wellness program that you like. So if you'd like to try out Audible, head to audible.com backslash Eden or text Eden to 500-500 to get a free month of Audible, um, which would get you a book and two Audible Originals. Like I said, the Audible Originals are really awesome. I'm listening to one right now called Caffeine and it's about like how caffeine came to be a staple in America and you guys know I love caffeine. So like I said, if you haven't had the chance to try out Audible, it's right here, audible.com backslash Eden or text Eden to 500-500 for a free month, which will get you a free audiobook and two Audible originals. So it's a really great investment and a minimal way to get some more knowledge or be entertained without maybe binge watching all day. I like to spend some time learning each day and it might be something that you want to incorporate while you're on quarantine as well. But let's get into this capsule wardrobe video. So like I said, I was listening to the burnout generation and it just really got me thinking about the decisions that I have to make each day and what I want it to minimize throughout my days. So one of those things was the amount of clothes I was washing because while I'm here, I want to maximize my time and I don't want to be using so much of my time doing laundry. I, like I said, I want to listen to podcasts and I want to listen to books about business so that I can really use this time to scale my personal business so that whatever the economy ends up being after this, I feel like I'm a few steps ahead. So like I said, that as well as being put together really helps me things like wearing a bra even though it's comfier not to wear a bra i like to wear a bra during the day because that makes me feel like i'm in business mode you know and then later on i'll take it off or even if it's a comfy bra like that is something that sig signals to my brain that it's like productive mode so i have my 10 items here one is this denim jacket that i have on right now i have on a black bodycon dress you will see that in the clips of all of the outfits i created so i have two pairs of bottoms two dresses three tops and three outerwear pieces so and one accessory so this is my leopard print scarf to me leopard is a neutral so this is a neutral scarf that i chose for this video you'll see it with all of the outfits the next item i don't know what these are as i'm pulling them is a boho little shirt that i got from a beautiful soul and it's just tons of colors mixed together it has a little tie right here which makes it really fun and different unique but this is a very comfy top but i still feel put together when i wear it the next top i have is also from beautiful soul and during the try on i got some makeup on this so i'm gonna have to wash it asap this is in a size c i wore this the other day it's a button down top and it's like a waffle knit type of fabric but it has this cute flutter bell sleeve and it's about three quarter length since it's spring right now it's very appropriate and then it also has a tie as you can tell i'm really into this is a pretty boho type top as well i have one black just shirt it's just a wide neck black shirt it's a little bit flowy i have it knotted because you know that's a way to change up a look as well the next item is a little short kimono and it's in a dark floral it's really nice for the spring also because as you can see it's see-through so it's very breathable and easy to wear i also that's my second outerwear and then you know i have on the denim jacket my next outerwear piece is a long line cardigan but like you you can see you can probably see my face through this it is very very lightweight and breathable as well but it's super long so it makes it a bit more interesting than a typical cardigan would be it makes it a little bit more casual looking and comfy and cozy but still put together um, I also picked this leopard print dress I got this from Torrid last year it was on clearance it was actually a size too big i got it in a size four and i might need to get it taken in just a little bit soon so it has three buttons here on the bust and it's just a long midi fit and flare dress with pockets 
um i have on a black dress now and then i put one pair of leggings in here because kind of like a mullet i like to be uh, business on the top party on the bottom <laughs> type of situation so these are very very comfy not too compressive but they're they look really nice when you have them on the pockets nice these are from athleta um i really really enjoy these leggings they're very comfortable and they go with a lot of things and the olive color is pretty neutral so you can mix and match it with quite a few things and then the last thing is the dreaded jeans i know none of us want to wear jeans while we're inside but these are actually toward jeggings these are in a size 22 they're a light wash i went with a light wash because they feel a bit more casual than a dark wash so this is my second pair of bottoms if you'd like to see all of the combinations that i came up with for this 10 piece capsule wardrobe and like i said this is extreme. My capsule two years ago was 50 pieces, so that was so much more mixing and matching, but I've had so much fun mixing and matching these 10 pieces, and you'll know that this is not just like a ploy. In my last few videos, I've been wearing these things because it's so, so nice to just have left decisions, and these are all pieces that I really, really love. I felt like for so long, I'd buy things that I love, and I'd be like, oh, I love it. I don't want to ruin it. I only wear it for special occasions. But isn't that the point of buying clothes? Like, if you love it, wear it over and over and over again until you wear it out and then you buy something new that you love just as much and you wear that until you can't wear it anymore so i want to get back to that and really wearing the pieces that i loved and i spend a decent amount of money on and just get the use out of them instead of them sitting in my closet just for me to see actually wearing them out for people to see you'll see that i probably wouldn't wear the leggings out and about with a crop like sweater without like some kind of outerwear but these are kind of catered to like my being in the house wardrobe and trying to be productive so this video really doesn't include accessories other than the scarf it doesn't include shoes you can really do whatever you like with that this is just some examples of how you can work a capsule wardrobe Let her know, I gotta let her know That she my white horse, she my medical 
like my baby mama know how to take care of me Get my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let him know, gotta let him know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you Small. 